Hi everyone! Today I'm going to make Korean style Chinese food, jajangmyeon. Jajangmyeon is, or jajangmyeon is, black bean paste noodles. Did you watch our boys mukbang video? In that video I asked them what is mommy's favorite food. Logan's answer was jajangmyeon. Since I got the answer, I got really hungry for jajangmyeon. So I thought I can make it and share the recipe with you today. Plus, both of our boys love jajangmyeon. I hope you enjoy this video. Cut the beef or pork into half inch pieces. Add the cooking wine, salt and the black pepper to the meat. Mix it together and set it aside while you're preparing the other ingredients. Dice the potato, onion and the zucchini into half inch pieces. Cut the cabbage into half inch squares. In an oiled and heated pan, fry the potato for about 3 minutes on medium high or until it is half cooked. At the same time, start to fry the meat until it has completely cooked on medium high. 3 minutes later, add the onion and the cabbage to the potato. Fry for another 3 minutes or until they are half cooked. Lastly, add the zucchini and fry about 4 minutes or until all of the vegetables are cooked. By the time your meat will be cooked too. Combine the meat with the other vegetables. To make the jajang sauce, start with the cooking oil in a heated pan. Then add the black bean paste to the oil. Fry it until it becomes soft. Add the sugar to the black bean paste. The sugar helps to remove the bitter taste from the black bean paste. Add the fried vegetables and meat to the fried black bean paste. Mix everything together. Add water and cornstarch in a mixing bowl and mix it together thoroughly. Pour the cornstarch mixture into the pan. Boil until the sauce becomes thicker. While the jajang sauce is boiling, boil the water for the noodles. In the boiling water, add the noodles and cook for a few minutes. Follow the instruction for the noodles you have. When your noodles are done, rinse the noodles in cold water once or twice and then drain out the water. To serve, place some noodles in a bowl and then pour the jajang sauce on top. You can garnish it with some cucumber, peas or hard boiled egg. Finally, it's my turn to try. Look at that. I prepared some kimchi. I don't have tamoji pickle, yellow pickled radish, so I just eat with kimchi. It's so delicious. As you see, I ate all my noodles. The one serving noodle was actually not much. So I'm going to mix some. Actually, this is another way to eat jajang. Jajang sauce, if you make it at home. Mix with the rice. I love both noodles and rice. Mm. It's really good with the kimchi.
last one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.